Hello there. Just caught me doing a piece tie up on this new sword. It's got to be field tested yet. But I'm not come to talk to you about swords. I've come to talk to you about a folk tale from Sweden. And it's called The Blood of Seven Brothers. Once upon a time there was an old man. Very, very wealthy. And he was burying his treasure. And he didn't want anybody to dig it up. Apart from himself, of course. And as he stood there, he pleaded to some god about Only when the blood of seven brothers has passed over this grave Will they find my treasure Unbeknownst to him, there was a little boy picking berries And he thought, hello, what's going on here, this old bloke? I'm going to listen, and sure enough, he heard When the blood of seven brothers pass over this grave, they'll find the treasure And he thought, yeah, sounds a bit weird, but um, be useful And off he went, picking berries, got a great big basket full of them Blueberries, I think they were And he went back to his house Dad! What? Uh, I don't know if there's any use to you, but uh, I was out there, you know, picking berries, like I told you. Yeah, all right. I've got a big basket. Now, I was picking up by, you know, that old hill up on the, yeah, yeah. There was this old bloke there, and he was burying treasure, I think it was. And he said, only when the blood of seven brothers... I passed over this grave, will they find my treasure? Treasure? Yeah, it meant treasure. You know what it's like. Is that? Ah, right. That's an odd thing. Why were you eavesdropping? I wasn't. I was picking berries, like I said. You know, come on, give me a break. I've given you this. There might be a lot of money in it for us. Us? All right for you. The old man sat by the fire and said, thanks, you're welcome. He was a bit of a teenager. And he sat looking in the fire and thought, got it! What? And he went to the barn and he took seven cockerels. He went up to the mound, drew his big sharp knife, cut the throats. Little boy thought, hey, we've got chicken for dinner tonight, woof woof. <laughs> and the blood poured down there. And the man dug up the treasure because the cockerels were brothers. Didn't say it had to be human brothers, did it? Anyway, that is a short story from Sweden. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, leave us a comment and uh, uh, we'll get back to you. So until we meet again, bye.